Hey guys, I'm here with kel -Tec. This is Chad. He's going to go over the gun with us. How's it going, guys? So today we have the kel -Tec P50. We've got a 9-inch barrel. It's threaded, half 28, so if you want to put a suppressor or some sort of a brake on there, you can. That's a really unique uh, firearm. We designed it around the FN PS90 magazine, so you actually get 50 rounds of 5.7 in this pistol. It's pretty nice. Uh, mag release is here. We got a little thumb brake here. Uh, it's got an ambi safety. It's got sort of an AR style charging handle. Um, we've uh, mounted a red dot on here because you have a pick rail on the top. You've got a pick rail on the bottom for accessories if you want to put an angled foregrip or a light, lasers, something like that. And uh, yeah, the, um, the MSRP is uh, 990. Admit, I didn't awesome really little get. pistol. You guys want to shoot it? Absolutely. Is there an option to do a brace or a stock on these eventually? There is. In fact, we have one out here uh, for display that actually has a stock adapter on it. Okay. Uh, we don't make that. It's an aftermarket part. Okay. And um, we're talking about doing a uh, carbine kit. Uh, a little later on this year, okay. uh, where we will you can buy an actual 16-inch barrel and an actual stock for it. Yeah, very so. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Let's shoot it. All right. And then the R MR30. Same thing. Same angle and everything. I give you the honors. Essentially, since there's no uh, hold open, okay. it, it forces you to do uh, two things. You lock the hammer back, and you also get to check the chamber. Okay. And then that way you can pull up, pull it up and release it. So you have to release it? Yeah. And, then and the reason, the reason being is because if you if you had a round in the chamber and the hammer is locked back, and you open this, now your muzzle's still just it's pointing at your feet or whatever. Makes sense. So it forces you to do that. Gotcha. Yep. That's very cool. So, still folds just like this one. Yep. But this one has a red dot on it, so. Now you can roll up on that tab, rotate it. Oh, nice. Now it can awesome. Well, thank you very much. I yeah, appreciate of course, it. Man. That's all. Awesome. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoy the SHOT Show coverage. I'm sorry for the audio. It's kind of hard to get good audio in this building with all these people, but I hope you enjoy the content. If you can't find the video you're looking for, check out my channel because I am posting a ton of videos because I'm trying to cover the entire show as much as possible. I'll be posting all this week and next week all the videos that I'm doing. I'm trying to rush back to my room after the show to get all the videos edited and posted as quick as possible, so I hope I get the ones that you're looking for. If there's something you're looking for specifically that you haven't seen, go ahead and put it in the comments and I will try to go to that booth as quick as possible for you. A couple companies that support me in the channel, the things I do here are Howitzer, I love this company and brand. They donate 5% of proceeds to charity and I just love their clothing because I wear it all the time along with TA Targets. Really good steel target company and you can use code Tactical Advisor to save 10% off. Other than that guys, if you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. You can check out my channel. I do a lot of reviews and other videos and you can see if you like the content. If you do, stick around and I appreciate it.